Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have created order producer. It will send a message to the Kafka topic. In this lecture, we'll create a simple REST API that will take an order from the client. Well, let's go to controller package. And within a controller package, we are going to create a class. Let's give class name as order controller. And let's annotate order controller class with at rest controller annotation at rest controller annotation all right let's go and let's add one more annotation that is at request mapping annotation just to give a base url for this controller let's say api slash v1 okay within this class let's go and let's inject order producer dependency Let's first create an instance variable of order producer and then let's create a parameterized constructor right click generate constructor and hit ok. Now we have created a parameterized constructor for this order controller class ok. So this is basically a constructor based dependency injection ok. Now we have just injected order producer as a constructor based dependency injection in a order controller. Next, we are going to create a REST endpoint. Just type public and then return type is string and then let's give a method name something like place order and let's pass order as a method argument. Perfect. And let's annotate this method with add post mapping annotation and let's give a URL for this mapping. Let's say orders. Next, let's use at request body annotation to convert a JSON into order Java object. All right. So at request body annotation basically internally uses message converters to convert a JSON object into Java object. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to assign a order ID to this order object. So let's call set order ID and we're going to use UUID class to get a random ID perfect now we have assigned a unique order ID to the order next what we're going to do is we're going to create order event instance let's say order event order event equal to new order event next let's set the status for this order let's say initially the status is pending and then let's give a message for this status let's say order status is in pending state something like this all right next order event dot set order and then just pass order object okay next call the order producer object and then call its method that is send message method and then pass order event object okay now we have created order event instance and then we have passed this instance to send message method of order producer class next return some string in the response let's say order placed successfully something like this perfect now we have created a simple REST endpoint that is place order REST API. It will basically handle the HTTP POST request. And then we have, you know, created order event object. And then we have passed that object to the send message method of order producer. Next, let's run the Spring Boot application and let's test this REST API. And let's also see how the order producer will send this order event to the Kafka topic. Well, go to order service application. From here also you can run the Spring Boot project. And there we go. You can able to see there is no errors or exception in a console. And our Spring Boot application is up and running in embedded Tomcat server which is running on port 8080. Next let's go ahead and let's open the Postman REST client. Well I am going to create a new request. So just choose HTTP POST method over here. And just type the URL HTTP colon localhost 8080 slash api slash v1 slash orders and then this is the post request so we need to send a json in the request body so go to the body 
and then choose raw here and then choose content type as a json and let's put json in the request body something like the name of the order quantity and price all right so let's go and let's hit the hit the send button and there we go we got the response with status code 200 now let's go to IntelliJ idea and let's see the log statements well go to the console well in a console you can able to see the log statements order event followed by the order event and if you go to order producer class we have provided a log statement right order event followed by the event so that is what printed over here okay and if you can see the kafka configuration for producer so just scroll down and here you can able to see so this is the json serializer the kafka template uses to convert a event into a json okay and next you can see a lot of kafka configuration over here so all this is the default configuration basically and the key serializer class is string serializer and the value serializer class is json serializer so this is the configuration we have done in the application.properties file right so let me show you that go to application.properties file and here you can see we have configured key serializer class as a string serializer class and value serializer class as a json serializer class so this is what printed over here it means that the order producer class that we have written in previous lecture is working as expected okay so order producer class is successfully sending a message to the kafka topic well if you can see the architecture over here so far we have created order producer in order service it is sending a event or a message to the kafka topic in next couple of lectures we will see how to create a consumer in a stock service and email service and how these consumers will you know subscribe or consume the event or message from the kafka topic all right great i will see you in the next lecture